So I'm going to answer a question and it's about intellectualizing. It's this thing where we read book after book, maybe self-help book after self-help book, and we get all these ideas and concepts and, you know, we're nodding along as we read them and they seem really insightful and they are, you know, they're, they're really interesting. But there's this phenomenon we begin to realize where it's not really transferring into any emotional change for me. And I got this question from someone and it talks about this. Uh, I, I mentioned it in an earlier video and this person, they wrote me a long email, but the, the part I want to read here is, I realize knowledge is not the answer, but so far neither is the journaling or the meditating or the yoga or uh, medication or anything. So this person says they feel stuck, but can this be overcome? And what's the way forward with this? Okay, so trying all these different things, they recognize intellectualizing the issue is not going to work, but a lot of these other approaches are not working either. So when that's the case, we really look for something really fundamental, a fundamental element to the approach that we're taking. Okay, so this is maybe depression here. We're talking about anxiety, underlying long-term issues that we've been living with for a long time, procrastination, anything. And one thing that we can start off and look at fundamentally is, am I trying to get rid of this first and foremost? Okay. Because we can try, we can throw the kitchen sink at any emotional block or issue we have. We can do all sorts of approaches to it or with it. But if there's this underlying thing of everything I'm trying to do with this block I have is in order to get rid of it, nothing will work because it's only gonna set up, a, again, a confrontational dynamic within us where we're trying desperately to block and get rid of, fix, okay? That happens naturally over time, the fixing, you know, if <laughs> fixing is the wrong word, a uh, moving of the emotional block. But we have to start off uh, fundamentally with the, the assumption here that we're not going to go in and try to fix anything straight away. In fact, what's needed primarily, first of all, is patience. Just meeting it where it is. Now, when I say patience, that's a difficult concept for us to grasp. Really, it is. When I mean patience, and this is a paradox of change here, patience means infinite patience. Patience doesn't really mean I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you two minutes before I decide it's time to get rid of you, whatever the feeling or the block is inside. Once we can get to the point where we say, this feeling that's here can stay right there and I can stay present with it for as long as it wants to stay, however long that is, and I'm okay with that. That's infinite patience. Now, that sounds almost impossible for us, but here's, here's the thing to remember about this. And you can use what I'm about to say here as a little trick, <laughs> which won't work either. But once we get to the point where we're, we meet that block or that feeling or that emotion inside us with infinite patience, the paradox of change is once that happens, it moves. Okay, so meeting it with infinite patience is primarily what's there. Now, once we have that kind of as our initial goal, we can do anything else. We can do meditation, yoga, as, as this person mentions, we can do meditation, we can do everything with it, right? But unless we have that sort of starting position where we're going to just go in and meet what's there, not with this, but just be present with it, okay? To allow it to be, for allow it to be, to allow it to be present and to be present with it. It starts to move. Okay, it's no longer, it's the conflict, the, the pushing it back that keeps it in place for us all the time. But when we stop this, actually, don't even stop the conflict, right? Allow the conflict to be there. 
when, once you're be, when you're be, when you're increasing awareness from your for your emotional blocks, you'll notice the negative emotion is there. You'll become more and more aware of that. You'll feel it more and more, and you'll also become more and more aware of oh, there's a part of me that's really fighting this. Now you become more and more aware of that too, without judging that part of it either. And when that happens, really, there's profound movement or change takes place. It's kind of a part of you that's okay with everything happening inside yourself, emotionally. So the paradox of change is kind of what I'm talking about here. Once you meet whatever it is that's there, without the need to fix it, get rid of it, you know, and to say to it, you can stay here for as long as you need to stay here. I'm not going to get rid of you and I'm not going to fight. That's when things actually start to change. Okay, so patience is something to look at for this. Okay, so bear that in mind. It's a pretty big concept, but it's a very fundamental one that it, it helps to remember every now and then. We do all the techniques, right? But if I'm using the technique to get rid of the anxiety, you know, there's already a subtle kind of a little little motive, motive that I'm bringing in there. I have an agenda against the emotion to begin with, rather than trying to understand it and to be with it. Keep it in mind, guys. I hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to you again soon.